Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Titanser, um, a doctor and owner here at Titanser Dental, uh, just north of the DFW airport in Texas. Today, we're gonna be doing an implant on our patient, Lisa. So today, my patient's coming in. We are placing an implant in tooth number 18. But this process started off a few months back. This patient had cracked a tooth. I went and broke my tooth, and so I came in to have a dental implant put in after I came in and they explained and showed me all of their technology and the latest 3D imaging and showed me everything that was going on. It was like, this it was a no brainer. So we had to extract the tooth. We did a bone graft. Um, after that is healed, patient came in. First of all, we used the prime scan to get an intraoral scan. Um, that way we have a really accurate, fast, easy impression of the patient's teeth. We could even design the crown, the final restoration, exactly where that needed to go. And then on that same appointment, we use our Orthophos SL, our comb beam CT, to take a 3D image. Um, so that way we could see the bone. We merged the prime scan data and the CT scan data together. And using the software, we went and digitally placed the implant. So basically you get to do the whole procedure prior to even doing it in their mouth. But having this, I'm able to prep the patient ahead of time, showing them what may be some trouble areas. And so that way, when the day of procedure comes, like today, and everything goes smooth and well, it's a celebration. Dr. Tynes are bringing me in before we even started and sitting me down. He had gone and put the whole procedure out on the screen and I was able to see where the implant was going to be put in and all my other bone structure around it so I could see it's perfect. All right, so today we placed the implant. I like to wait for that to osseointegrate and heal. And then uh, you do have a few options. You can take the final impression at the time you place the implant. This was a posterior molar. I'm gonna go ahead and I just put a healing cap on. I'm gonna wait typically 10 to 12 weeks. Patient will come back. We take the impression all digitally again with the prime scan. And then from there, we actually design a custom abutment with a, a crown on top, or you can do a screw retain crown. You have both options. And once it's designed, I just mill that right here in my office with the prime mill from start to finish. This is all done right here in the office. Unbelievable, the difference. I'm so used to coming in in the old days where you'd have to sit there and bite into an impression and have all that gooey material. And this time, all they did was came in with a wand and went right around my mouth so easy and fast and it was done in two seconds. I love the new technology. Something also that I always recommend offices that are getting into this, involve your team. The assistants, the hygienists, this is, it's a team effort. My hygienist, she was actually the one who was able to take the CT scan and the education started there with the hygienist. And then the assistant was involved. They are the ones who took the digital scan. By the time it got to me, this is the doctor. Um, the patient had already felt great about the procedure and it makes my job a lot easier. I have never once regretted investing in technology. Technology opens the doors to so many different procedures. It allowed me to advance my career. It's allowed me to instill confidence in my patients. It's instilled confidence in myself. It makes the procedures go so smooth and fast that I would never hesitate. And in the time, I know some things that uh, doctors are a little wary of the learning curve or is now the time to get in. It's always now because the technology will continue to evolve. The sooner you start using it and get comfortable with it, the sooner the better.